So if you want to learn how to get traffic on YouTube, recently my channel has been growing and I'm going to go over what I've learned about getting traffic on YouTube by picking your category, your niche, posting frequency, SEO, and also connecting with other creators. Let's get it. What is up you YouTube champion? So I'm gonna go over what I've learned from building and growing a YouTube channel about getting traffic from YouTube. Now it's, it's, it's not a straightforward process because the YouTube gods are complicated and moody and they seem to change. I, I don't understand it too well, but I do understand that I love teaching people and I love talking to people and connecting and motivating other people. So YouTube has always been something that's been particularly interesting to me. Now, I'm gonna go over each of these five things that have helped me a lot in growing my YouTube channel. I no means claiming to be a YouTube SEO expert or anything of that matter. I mean, there are guys who are much smarter than me in this field, but I believe I do know enough to share and hopefully you'll derive some value from what I believe has been responsible for my channel's growth. First thing that I found really important is understanding what your category is. And I actually had huge problems with this very fundamental thing. Um, there's a few different categories of uh, YouTubers, really. There's vloggers, okay? You can, you can do a lifestyle vlog. You can post music. You can post how-to videos, okay? How-to videos, or you could post films you know, or, you know, or you could do game, you know, gaming, right? So there's, there's some very broad categories of YouTubers out there. Now, what my problem was, I kept whipple waffling between these two. I was, you know, I was trying to vlog and then I was trying to do how to videos. And I kind of confused that, you know, getting subscribers to my channel meant that people wanted to hear about my life when what people are really interested in my channel for are learning how to do items. Now, YouTube's become so big. It, it encompasses so many different fields. It's unbelievable. People go to YouTube just to learn how to fix a light bulb or people go to YouTube just to listen to a song now. But if you try to act like you're in one niche when really people are following you for another reason, that's gonna be a problem. Now, I built my audience because I was putting up videos of how to do something, how to advertise on the internet, how to make money online using affiliate marketing, et cetera. That's what I do. And I started vlogging for a while. I started posting daily videos where I'm just kind of saying motivational stuff. And that, that was incongruent. And my channel, even though I was posting daily, my channel never grew for a year because I believed that people were interested in my vlogs which was not true. People were interested in learning from me how they can benefit themselves to make money online. And that's not a problem, that's just what it is. So pick your category first and foremost. If you're gonna be a gamer, do it and stick to it. If you're gonna vlog about your life and your lifestyle and your relationships and whatnot, do it and stick to it. If you're gonna post up films or how-to videos or music, do it and stick to it. Don't try to mix two of these categories. Pick one and stick to it and keep posting that sort of content. The second important thing is knowing your niche or you know also your sub niche, okay? Now in my case, my niche is make money online. I am teaching people how to make money on the internet, very simply. And I'm also teaching people my sub niche, which is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a very specific niche within making money online but it's still important because there's an audience of people who are just looking for specifically tactics to be better affiliate marketers or to go deeper in that business model. Now, I try to cater my videos almost exclusively to my niche and my sub niche because that gives my channel authority in this subject matter. Again, I'm a knowledge expert in making money online and affiliate marketing. So I really focus on those two things as well because that's going to give me the best results in terms of uh, it, my videos are going to be better than anybody else's in the affiliate marketing category simply because I've made more money doing it than the other people in this niche. I frankly believe I know more 
than any other YouTuber about affiliate marketing. Posting frequency is another important aspect. The, the name of the game is consistency. Consistency, 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 consistency. If you aren't able to consistently post on YouTube, whether that's once a day, once a week, once a month, then you shouldn't be doing YouTube. YouTube wants to see consistency. Just like a TV show releases a new episode every week, at a particular time, the same time, every single week, YouTube wants to see that consistency as well. YouTube really highly favors consistent creators who are releasing at the same time every week or every month or every day. Casey Neistat, I watched a video of him and he said, just keep uploading. It's about just keeping uploading and doing that consistently is very important. Now, SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this is a subject I don't know much about, but what I do know is that I know they care about embeds, like if you embed your video other places. So I have a blog, for instance, and I embed my video on my blog because you know I have a blog post about each of my videos and I embed my video on that blog post because YouTube likes it, I guess. Also, I know the three main metrics of YouTube to understand that are really important is average watch time. They wanna see people watching your videos for at least four minutes. They look at session time. YouTube wants to see that people are not just watching your videos, but they're staying on YouTube and watching more videos. That's important, keeping that session length long and making it longer is helpful for YouTube. And the third one is return rate. YouTube wants to see that your users of your audience are co consistently coming back to YouTube. You're not just doing some videos on YouTube, selling them a product and keeping them off of YouTube the rest of their lives. That would be horrible in YouTube's mind. YouTube, what they care about is people watching long, people staying on YouTube to watch more videos and people coming back more regularly to YouTube to watch videos because they're part of your audience. That's what YouTube looks at. That's my understanding of SEO. So it's really about just creating engaging content and keeping people coming back to that. The last step here is connecting. So connecting with other creators. YouTube is like any other business, is that you should be, to, to really get an advantage, you need to be surrounding yourself with other people in this space. Uh, if you really wanna make it on YouTube, Go to Vid Summit. You know Daryl Eves. He's a very prominent YouTuber who talks about SEO stuff. He has a uh, he has a whole conference for YouTube creators to meet and mix and mingle and talk about what strategies are working out best. Going to events such as that are going to really help your success um, in utilizing this amazing platform that is replacing television. Okay, or just local meetups or just hanging out with other YouTubers who are working on building their business off of YouTube can be a really important thing for, uh, for you because you may learn some things, your friend may learn some things, and it's a, very it's a very open blue ocean. YouTube is quickly taking over a lot of media, so being, able, being on the cutting ed edge of the wave um, is really gonna help you here in building your audience and building your business, hopefully. I hope that helped you out. I'm really excited and really honored by your support of my channel and support of my teaching that I'm doing here on YouTube. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing and liking my videos. Uh, feel free to comment below if, if there's anything, any questions you have about this or if, if I've inspired you for any particular reason, I would love to hear your comments below. Now, if you're not a subscriber already of mine, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed of more videos about me. Once again, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to be a teacher. I, I enjoy teaching and being able to teach on the internet. It's supplemented my income and helped me become a multi-multi-millionaire. And uh, I really enjoy the process and I hope to help continue to help more people make money online. So looking forward to seeing you in future videos and thank you so much for the support up until now. Thanks.